The weekend before her accident, Elizabeth Brackett stood atop the podium after winning her age group in a triathlon in Wisconsin. It was not unusual. Since she took up the sport a quarter century ago at age 50, Elizabeth Brackett rarely lost. She loved to win. She, she really liked the accomplishment. She had a lot of accomplishments to celebrate throughout a celebrated career in and television and as an athlete. Phil Ponce worked with her for 26 years at Channel 11. For her, it wasn't just a job. For Elizabeth, journalism was a calling. At age 76, Elizabeth Brackett was going strong. If anything, her semi-retirement from television news where she was a reporter for Channel 11 and other Chicago stations, including ABC 7, for more than four decades, allowed her more time for triathlon training. One of her bikes still hangs at the gym, and her coach was with her family when they said goodbye in the hospital over the weekend. He has analyzed her Garmin GPS watch and believes her accident may have involved her bike getting stuck in the mud near the lakefront path by 39th Street. She may then have been thrown from the bike and landed, breaking her vertebrae in her spine. It's a very simple accident, but there was probably one small movement that just triggered these events that, that it couldn't go back. The accident happened Wednesday morning, just after 8 o'clock. Less than two hours earlier, she had written Eyewitness News reporter Paul Mikey a message congratulating him on a recent bike ride. Paul says Elizabeth Brackett was well aware of the risks of injury from cycling, and she recently had considered quitting. She had some doubt about whether or not she should continue after other friends were injured or killed in accidents, and she decided to push on because it's in her nature. It's her DNA. Tributes to Brackett are coming in from the triathlon world as well as nearly all corners of Chicago, including many of the politicians she covered. Funeral service for, for Elizabeth Brackett have been set for Wednesday. That'll be at 1 o'clock at the Kenilworth Union Church in Kenilworth. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.